I got into the Microsoft Explorer internship in college and here's how you can do the same. My name is Skylar Basco, I just graduated college and I'll be starting my full-time product manager role at Microsoft this month. But I remember in my sophomore year, I was applying to so many product management and software engineering internships, hoping to get that one yes that would secure me an internship for the summer. And after getting rejected by so many companies, I finally got that one yes from Microsoft Explorer and it completely changed my life. So in five chapters listed right here, I'll be breaking down what Microsoft Explorer is, how I got into the program, and how you can too. And in fact, if we get 102 likes on this video, I will be dropping another video revealing exactly how I got a full-time product manager return offer at Microsoft. Anyways, love y'all and let's get into it. So what is Microsoft Explorer in the first place? Microsoft Explorer is a 12 week internship program for both college freshmen and sophomores focused on both product management and software engineering. In my experience, Microsoft flew me out to Washington State to intern in person at their Redmond Washington headquarters. I was working with a pod of two other interns and we were assigned to complete a real project for a specific team at Microsoft. For the first six weeks, we focused on product management work for the project, which included interviewing users, wireframing designs, creating a product spec, and so much more. In the last six weeks, we focused on the software engineering portion of the project, which involved things like coding the actual project, reviewing each other's code, and fixing bugs. And at the end of the internship, you basically wrap things up by doing a final presentation to get feedback from your team. So now that you know what Microsoft Explorer is, what exactly is the recruiting timeline for Microsoft Explorer? It differs for everyone, but in my personal experience, I I applied with a referral to Microsoft Explorer in August of 2022. In October 2022, I got an email directly inviting me to the final round interviews. In December 2022, I did my final round interviews. And in January 2023, I got the offer. So what does it take to pass the application process and get invited to a Microsoft Explorer interview? In my case, I personally got referred to the program by a Microsoft employee. So if you know someone who works at Microsoft, especially if you worked with them in the past, it can definitely help. But it's also totally fine if you don't get a referral. I know many people who just cold applied and they still got in. So aside from a referral, Another way to give yourself an advantage in the application process is to tailor your resume to the requirements and expectations of an ideal candidate for Microsoft Explorer, which is basically described in the job description. For example, they typically require that you graduate with a bachelor's degree in a specific time frame. So make sure that you're listing your graduation date in the education section of your resume. They also usually require that you've taken an intro to computer science course and one semester of calculus so make sure you mention these courses in a relevant coursework bullet point in your education section of your resume. But not only should you be paying attention to the required qualifications, but you should also be looking at the preferred qualifications and the overview of the job description. For example, in the preferred qualifications, they want you to demonstrate interest in majoring in computer science or something similar. And in the overview, they mention things like building community, collaborative learning, bringing solutions to life and cutting edge technology. So this essentially means in your resume, demonstrate your passion for tech, but also demonstrate how your passion for tech has impacted the tech community. This can include things like participating in hackathons, contributing to open source, organizing your own tech events, running a tech club, building websites for nonprofits and small businesses, or even creating tech content. The list goes on and on, but find something in tech that you're genuinely interested in, stick with it, make it marketable on your resume and quantify your impact using the tips from my last video on the resume that got me 25 plus interviews. So after I scheduled my final round interview day, how exactly did I prepare for my Microsoft Explorer interviews? I had about two months to prepare for my interviews and this is exactly how I did it. Before even diving into interview prep, I messaged a few former Microsoft Explorer interns and even set up coffee chats with some of them to talk about their interview experience, the interview format, what questions to ask in the interview, how to prepare for the interview, and overall what to study in advance. This put me in the right direction so I knew what to study and what not to study. So to prepare for potential coding questions, I read the Cracking the Coding interview book. Then I would go on Neat Code and answer lead code easy questions while talking through my process out loud as if I were actually being interviewed. 
And if I was stuck on a question, I made sure to go to the neat code explanation video on YouTube to understand the full breakdown of the question and the answer. If I were you, I'd recommend practicing lead code questions, mainly focusing on strings, arrays, linked lists, stacks, queues, and trees. Mainly practice lead code easies, but sprinkle in a few lead code mediums here and there from time to time just in case. To prepare for behavioral and PM questions, I would go on the pminterview.com and answer questions as if I were actually in the interview. I mainly practice behavioral and product design questions because the former Microsoft Explorer interns I chatted with told me to just focus on those. I also would do mock interviews with other applicants who were also going to interview for Microsoft Explorer so that we can both get each other's feedback. During my final round interview day, I had two interviews that were one hour each back to back and they both went pretty smoothly. In the first interview, I was asked a few behavioral questions in the first half of the interview and then a lead code easy styled question in the second half of the interview and then I got to ask the interviewer a few questions at the end. The second interview was pretty similar. I was asked a few behavioral questions at the first half of the interview and then I had a discussion about a situational question for the next half of the interview. Basically like if you were a software engineer and you ran into XYZ problem, what would you do? And then I got to ask the interviewer a few questions at the end. After my interviews, I sent my recruiter a thank you email for setting up the process and I send a personalized connection request to my interviewers on LinkedIn, thanking them for their time. And the next month I got the offer letter in my email. Anyways, hope you found this helpful. If you did, hit the like button so we can get this to 102 likes so I can drop the next video. Hit the subscribe button, comment, let's go, and I'll send you some hype to make your day. And peace.